Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rockhound. Today, I'm glad it's kind of a cooler day because we are out in the west desert of Utah looking for geodes. This is the Dugway geodes. These are the old pits that were dug years ago by the guy who owned the claim out here and unfortunately lost it when he didn't pay and, well, the BLM didn't let him have it back. So this is now BLM and we are welcome to come out and dig in these old pits. And there are literally geodes everywhere. You can see them in the ground. We've got some friends out here, some fellow rock hounds. What'd you find here? Look at that. We got a nice geode already. Although it's kind of flat, so it probably isn't hollow, but it would look probably look nice when you cut it, if it gets cut. Or you can just break it with a hammer. <laughs> So we're going to just look around and see what we can find. But yes, geodes everywhere. That's a pretty piece that came out of one. It's very small. Maybe I'll keep it. I'll think about it. You'll get little geodes all over the place. And these are fun to give to kids, these little ones. So I was walking along and I saw something here that's got kind of a bubble shape. So a good way to find larger ones on the surface and not in the pits, it's still better in the pits, you'll find bigger ones. But if you can see anything bubbly that's just barely poking out, then you have a chance that maybe it's an unbroken one. And we'll just see. And hey, look at that. An unbroken geode. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, let me put it in the sun. So this will be a nice one to cut or break open depending on what you choose to do with it. Here, got show the, everybody what you found. Got the right idea there. Look, she's got a nice big one. This one is a little heavier, it's so heavy. it's probably fairly solid, but it should look really nice if it gets cut. It probably wouldn't look too great if you broke it. So probably should get that one cut. Okay, hang on to this one. I just went ahead and came back to the vehicle and grabbed my tools. I'm gonna go in the pit and start digging. And on the way, I saw a potential. See how it's got that nice rounded edge to it, barely exposed. Could be a whole one. Let's see. And unfortunately, not that good. Here we are in the first pit. This pit is the old pit. I remember from when I was a boy, this pit is when they were digging it. So this is very old. It's been heavily dug into the sides but you can still find stuff. So the walls are mostly covered here with tailings of people digging and kind of throwing the dirt back into the pit. But if you can find a spot where it looks like you got some wall exposure going on, then maybe you can uh, find something in there. Kind of want to steer away from the obsidian areas. You don't tend to find much in those. You're looking for the pinkish color or the more white. So we're gonna dig into here and see if we can find anything. All right, Sandy's showing us her treasures. Look at that one. She's got a nice big one. She found just right up there. She's got a nice big broken one right here. Yeah. Yeah, those are nice. Look at that. Nice big broken piece. Very nice. The first pit is past that, that one right there. That's the second pit. I'm over here in the third pit right now. I decided to come over here because I remembered tomorrow for Easter, I was gonna get a whole bunch of small ones for the kids. So I decided to come over here because for me, the third pit is usually where I find usually smaller ones, but they're more plentiful. And I remembered, oh, well, let's get some for the kids. Anyway, I got a larger one here. Just pop that thing out. There we go. It's a decent sized one. That should look really nice inside. I also see something else right here. Not sure how big this is. Not bad. Got a baseball sized one. Nice. Decided to bring you guys in because look at that. It's got some nice layering in it. It's got a mixture of the white and the colorless. The white could be opal. You can get some opal in these. Otherwise it's just a white quartz with the you know colorless kind of translucent. Very nice though. Good for a broken piece. 
So I've been digging right here and I pulled this out of there. It's broken already, but it's actually quite nice. Let's see if I can show you it sparkled in the sun. Very nice. So I pulled one out here and it broke on me, but look at that. Look at that thing, that's beautiful. I'm glad it broke pretty much in half because that's what I would have done cutting it. And it broke very well, so I'm happy with it. Here I am back at the vehicle. That's kind of what I decided to keep. It's mostly smaller ones, but there's some good ones in there and some larger ones. Thought I'd just quickly tell a little bit about some of the geology around here. So these are old lava flows that had air bubbles in them. And the air bubbles, over time, had some hot water come through the ground, bringing silicon with them. And then they deposited quartz into the geodes. And that's how they form over time. And what happened is this was part of Lake Bonneville near the shoreline and the weather, the, uh, the wave activity and stuff helped to break some of these loose and turn it into clay. So a lot of the times when you're digging into here, you're digging into clay. And that makes it a little easier than digging into hard rock. But yeah, there's a lot of neat stuff around. And let's come take a look and see how these, how these people are doing. Hey, look at that. Nice. Beautiful. Got a did little you just piece. break that one? She did. did. Oh, cool. I've got a bunch of little ones right here to go through and a bunch of bigger ones too. Looks like you two are doing great. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Decided to grab one of the ones that I had in the bucket and just break it. And turned out quite nice. Just, just so you guys could see, just to show you. Here we are, I'm back home and we've got a whole bunch of geodes. Uh, there were a bunch of little ones I got, but that was for the kids over Easter. So you're not gonna really get to see those. That was, those were for the kids. And that's kind of the main reason I went out there was for that. But I also wanted to help the others that I took out there with me so that they could have a good time. So I didn't come back with a whole lot, but I still got some really nice stuff. So let's take a closer look at these nice pieces I found. I'm going to go ahead and use the macro lens for this one because the geodes that I kept were mostly smaller ones. I do have a couple of larger ones that I do need to cut, but like I've said previously, I don't currently have one big enough for cutting the larger pieces, so I'm just holding on to those till I have a bigger one. Here's the first one. This one broke open on me, so it's kind of a nice, nice, we got some nice agate banding along the side here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Even a little bit of red right at the bottom is kind of nice. The surface is covered with tiny crystals, tiny crystals of quartz. Today's cloudy, but on a sunny day, that would glitter a whole bunch. And this is the other side of it. Maybe I'll hold it like that. That's a little better. I really like the layering in this one. It's got some nice bands of agate going up through it. I liked how this one had these like little flowers on the bottom of it. I mean, yeah, fairly often actually out there you can get these little flowers in the geodes. They're a lot of fun. This one had a stacked flower, made it look kind of like a tree or a bush. <laughs> Pretty cool. This one had a nice pocket in it with a nice little crystal flower in the back there. This one I liked, it had a little bit of that banding at the bottom and then it had this nice flower and it was just a nice big pocket through it. And this was my pride and joy. Look at those crystals in there. Beautiful. There's the other side of it. Normally Dugway geodes don't get quartz crystals this large. Usually they're very small, so I was pretty excited when I found this one. It's just beautiful. Well, at this time, that's all I've got to show you. Like I said, I've got a couple larger ones. I'll cut those in the future down the road. Hopefully they're amazing. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I have done much better out there. I have found rocks much larger. I've found geodes 
much larger than my head out there. So it has them. It's just the pits have been worked a lot now since he stopped mining back in 2000, I think it was 18, 17, somewhere around there. He lost the claim. And because of that, people have dug and dug and dug those pits to the point where now it's getting very hard to get back into the original walls, but it's worth going for. And you still can, it's just a matter of digging. If you've got the time and the energy, dig down into those, those pits and pull out some nice big ones because they're there. I promise you, I've pulled them out. So get out there when you can and remember there's treasure everywhere.